Another major factor in our ability to understand shared networking solutions is where to apply the various Ethernet technologies to our appropriate design. This is regardless of whether we're dealing with the end user level where it might be acceptable to use 10 base T Ethernet or if we're dealing with the backbone level where it's not acceptable to use 10 base T Ethernet today. We would never see 10 megabit Ethernet ever being used at the backbone. Now we may see 100 megabit Ethernet being provided for inter switch connectivity for some of the low to medium volume applications. Typically, gigabit Ethernet is being used for the true backbone. But you will even notice that at the end user level, where our PCs usually are, the most popular technology today is fast Ethernet. Even though new lines of switch technologies are being introduced on a daily basis, which allow us to use gigabit Ethernet. At this time, fast Ethernet is not quite as popular as it's going to become. The primary reason is because most applications can't really take advantage of it. But we are starting to see more and more switches being produced every day that will support 10, 100, or 1000 megabit copper so that we can use cables as long as our cabling needs and as long as the cabling meets a specification in category 5E. We can actually use gigabit speeds with gigabit network interface cards. So it is possible that even at the end user level, we could use gigabit ethernet. We're going to start seeing more and more 10 gigabit ethernet too. Moreover, Cisco is actually constantly realizing more and more solutions for 10 gigabit ethernet as they're expanding the catalyst lines of switches and the capability for 10 gigabit ethernet to be used at the backbone level.